Welcome back, everybody. Today, we are trying three flavors from NYX. It's ice cream. Okay, so I scream, you scream, we all scream for what we get upset with about keto ice cream, right? I don't really like ice cream at all. It's true, she likes the stuff. Uh-huh, the only reason for eating ice cream is the stuff inside of it. Right, so she cannibalizes it, gets all the stuff, then leaves me, you know, the, what's cold and dead inside. Just like my soul. It's true. So we have three flavors of this NYX uh, Swedish style ice cream that I found at Walmart. We have Swedish apple pie, peppermintia, and we have cheesecake snow flaka. Waka flaka. Flame! <laughs> Which one do you want to try first? <sighs> I'm gonna try the, the Swedish apple first. Yeah, that sounds the worst. It sounds the worst? It does. She's just so, you know, <laughs> enthusiastic. I try. I bring my A game. It's a spoon for you. Thank you. Cram your heart out. All right, I'll let you try this first. I've actually tried this flavor, <clears throat> and uh, I like this one a lot, so spoiler. It smells of apple. I'm assuming that's an apple squirrel in it. Yeah, apple cinnamon swirl, yeah. You can see the little swirls in there. It's actually pretty good. This tastes like something you would like. Mm-hmm. It is not something that I like. Obviously. Yep. Because it's a thing that I like. Mm-hmm. I just, I don't like it. It is very on point with its flavor. It definitely tastes very apple pie juice in ice cream. These are between eight and five grams of net carbs per pint. So they are low carb. I will see what I can do to find the ingredients because there's a lot of ingredients in there and I'll try to put them up on the screen for the Swedish apple pie. <clears throat> And if you're finding value in this video, please take a moment and check out my merch store in the link below. It supports the channel. We've got hoodies, we've got shirts, we have grocery bags, we have aprons, we have all that stuff. So if you want it, we've got it. Take a look, link in the description. Thanks so much, everybody. Next up, which one do you wanna try, cheesecake or peppermint? Let's try the cheesecake so I can be disappointed early. <laughs> I have not tried the I have not tried any of the other ones. So And hope that the mint doesn't make me sad. It smells like cheesecake. It's a little little freezer burn, but I just don't know what the brownish color stuff is. Cheesecake, maybe cheesecake crummies like crust. Mm. It's strawberry. That's a no. Yeah, I'll put the ingredients up on the uh, on the screen for everybody to see. She doesn't like strawberry cheesecake. I do not. She is a pod person. I like classic New York cheesecake with strawberries on it or next to it. I don't like that weird jelly strawberry stuff that so, they put around. But what do you think of the consistency of the ice cream? The ice cream actually has a, an ice cream consistently. Con consistency. Bah, excuse me. If you like that fake strawberry flavor, uh, it's more like a strawberry jelly flavor. If you like that, and it's weird because I do like strawberry jelly. I just don't like it in s certain things. I very rarely eat things like jelly. And if I were going to eat a jelly, I would eat it on bread with butter in you know that kind of thing anyway i don't it's, like it in stuff it's very creamy the so far they're both very creamy very the, ice creamy the flavor is i wouldn't give it cheesecake but it's definitely strawberry yeah and the last but not least we've got peppermint tia i really hope it's good oh it looks pretty yeah you get a first bite 
Got little flecks of peppermint in there. It's a very soft ice cream. Yeah, and we just pulled it out of the freezer. Because I struggle to find any kind of keto-friendly-ish ice cream that she will enjoy. I do like that. The bigger problem for me is that there's too much ice cream and not enough stuff. Mm. The ice cream just makes me cold. So I would like that, like a scoop of it, and then like douse it in chocolate chips. Because the chocolate chips would be what I would want. But I do like it. Even the peppermint little pieces aren't super hard. They're like mm -hmm. kind of soft. They're like mush. But I definitely like, I like it. Again, I probably wouldn't eat this because it's it's ice cream. It's kind of plain ice cream. There's a big piece in there too. I'm very much a stuff and less of an ice cream person. But at least I know that I can maybe buy this if I'm getting ice cream at Walmart <clears throat> for everybody and she's not going to be left out. The one ice cream she does like, typically, <clears throat> when we can find it, is the French vanilla chocolate chip ice cream from Kroger, like the... Uh, it's a Kroger Keto yeah. one. I don't think we've done a review on those, have we? I don't think so. So we'll have to, we'll have to go and get all the flavors and do a review on those. What do you think of that? It's really good. And it's the lowest carb of the three. It's five net carbs for the entire container. Yeah, I really like it. Mint, again, one of my favorite flavors. This would be good, a small scoop added to my coffee. Maybe even some, I mean, maybe some chocolate with this would be, like if they put chocolate in it, you know what well, I mean? Well, that's what I'm saying. I would take a scoop of that and, and cover it in chocolate chips and that would make me eat it. I just am not, I don't go to ice cream. I don't go to cereals. I don't go to bread. Those are not my things. They're just not. But I think these are a winner. I think for me personally, I like the Swedish apple pie. The cheesecake I could take or leave. The peppermint's pretty good. But I would consider buying the Swedish apple pie whenever I was at Walmart and they didn't have other flavors that I that I like maybe a little bit better, maybe some of the Halo Top stuff. And if you want to let us know down in the comments what your go-to keto adjacent, keto friendly ice cream is, let us know in the comments down below. If you've tried the NYX, let us know. Uh, we're always interested in uh, finding out what you like, what sounds good to you, what your go-to things are. Uh, that does help us find out what kind of things to review. With that in mind, if you find value with these videos, please hit that like button, share with your friends, share with your friends' family. <laughs> <laughs> and your family's friends. And your family's friends. Yes. Everybody, your aunts, your uncles, your distant cousin, you know, the uncle that lives in the back room that no one talks about. We don't talk about Bruno. We don't talk about Bruno, it's true. Don't forget to subscribe, and you will see us in the next video. Yeah, oh. well, not me. Well, you won't see her. I have to see her. I'm, I'm, do his, I'm doing you a favor. I'm his invisible friend. I'm not <laughs> real. He's really just talking to himself. I'm a ventriloquist? Yes. Or just the dummy? <laughs> well, I don't think anyone would debate that. But thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you soon. Bye.